So I'm working on my mom's car, and on her car, when you go to put the windows up or down, she's got tape over the passenger side window, because whenever you push the switch or even bump it, it causes the passenger window to go down, as you see here. And so, uh, basically, it has to do with the module, because everything's run through here. Look at how many pins are on this connector. It's out of control. Anyway, there's a whole little computer circuit set up that goes inside of there. And so as we look at it over here, the way that the switch works is it just has little pads on it. Like when you look at a calculator or a lot of other things that you take apart, they look like that. And so the window switch corresponds uh, with these little pads here, as you can see there. And then like I say, you've got a bajillion pin connector uh, with just tons of opportunity for failure. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through and retouch those little solder joints. So I got my soldering iron all fired up. It looks like it's hot and ready to go. And uh, so we'll go through this and see if we can come up with what the deal is. I don't see any burn marks or anything. It's probably just something intermittent. Anytime you send a signal into this thing, it freaks out and just puts the window down. So we're going to try that. And if that doesn't work, then we have to replace it. But first thing you want to do is go through and just make sure all your solder joints are good. Because especially something like this where it gets a bunch of stress and the switch is right next to uh you know like where it's being pressed on is right next to here it can flex the board and create all kinds of havoc so what i'll do i'll film a couple of these and then i'll get off the camera and do a good job but uh, you just touch them like this heat them up till all the solder goes shiny and then just slide it up the pin get it shiny come get shiny on my knife sa so anyway that's all we're doing is what happens is over time because of the stress and the flexing you get kind of like a, a bullseye break you know like a little circular break that only makes partial contact and can create all kinds of havoc and it's almost always where you've got a pin connector going into a green board that's usually where it happens so anyway wish me luck so you can see i've got just a green board i haven't put the whole thing all that i haven't put the whole thing back together yet I'm working on my mom's car, so i got to use proper English. Bless her heart, she tried so hard with me. Um, but anyway, I go to put this on there. And this just has those little pads that uh, complete the circuit, you know, that are conductive. So when you hit down, you have to hit both of them. When you hit up, you have to hit both of them. Let's see, which is which? This is down, this is up. So as you can see, I've got the window up. Maybe you can see in the frame, I can't tell from here. But it's working a lot better now than it was before. Um, so we'll go ahead and try again. It was still intermittent before I couldn't get the window up to save my life. I mean, it just wasn't working. So I've gone through and I've touched some selective points of solder. And uh, so now I've pushed down. Let's see, make sure I'm lined up here. That's down. It's funny because up is down and down is up. So it goes into this automatic go down mode. And that's the problem is that, and see now it's not going up. Go to hit down again, nothing. Go to hit up, nothing. So it's still something's not quite right. Uh, so I'll go through and I'll hit some more points. I can hear clicking, so I know that the relays inside of this thing are working properly. You gotta turn it off before doing anything because it'll think that it lost a computer and you'll get trouble codes, you know, body codes and stuff, and it's just not pretty. So I'll turn it off, I'll go hit some more on the uh my goodness, let go. See how, maybe you didn't see that, but the lights on the door went out. But what I'm saying is, you've got relays that are on the back of this thing, and the relays are still working, because sometimes those will be the problem. But in this case, it's not. It's probably just a solder joint, so I'll go hit it some more. So I added a bunch more solder to it. Too much, in fact. I had to get a stripped wire and suck some of it back up off, because I had two of the pins touching. you got to be really careful from, for that. When you're doing this, this isn't for a beginning solderer person. This is if you've had a little experience, maybe practice on some old junky stuff and get good at it first. Um, but anyway, it's working a whole lot better now. These were actually really solder bare. They didn't have much solder on there. So it goes down. And now that I do this, it will go up. It was doing awesome a second ago. There we go. I suppose that helps if you line it up correctly. So, 
anyway that's a whole lot better than it was like I say it could probably use a new one of these and a new one on the driver's side if I go to do it on the driver's side well that's a driver window I guess it helps if you get the right switch yeah it's being funky again go up it won't go up and then you hit let go of it and it, anyway Probably the right thing to do is to take out the driver's side and touch up the solder on that as well. But anyway, at least this is a lot better than it was. It used to be no matter what you did, it when this is just committed to going down and you're just hosed. It's cold. But anyway, at least you can get it to go up and down with some reliability. I haven't priced these out. Most of the time when I go to get these for a Subaru, Toyota, whatever, they wind up being a hundred bucks or more so that's why I'm doing this first anyway something to it's, don't be cheap just buy a new one but if you have to want to or you I just like the challenge that's my problem I just find a challenge and I'm like it might be impossible I don't care I'm gonna try it anyway just to see if I can besides to make a fun video so anyway if you like my video click subscribe thumbs up uh, you can click add to down arrow favorites and uh, access it later. Cheers. So I touched up some more of it. So I've been a lot more thorough. And it's working a lot better now. I'm telling you what, from the factory they just did not put enough solder onto this little critter. This, <laughs> there's your little critter quote from the day for the video. Anyway, that's good enough for me. I'm not going to freak out about it. I'm help her out. So, anyway, fun stuff. Holy crap. Having it with the switch and everything makes this nice. <laughs> it works really good when you're not juggling it, you know, with the stuff apart. This fix actually turned out a lot better than I thought it would. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> See, that's why I try for the challenge. It's, that, it's awesome when you get it.